didn't. That's Dwayne's game. He will mix you up. He'll try ways to get in your head. Yeah. But Nier showing the mental fortitude to climb his way all the way to Grand Finals. See what he can do here. Uh, he's going to have to win six games uh, as opposed to Dam's three. So Yeah. And we have not seen these two square off yet. This is the first time they're playing. This is the debut set? I think so. Oh, wow. Interesting. I like that. I like that yeah. for, a, for a grand finals. For a grand finals? Yeah. You got to adapt on the fly. Oh, yeah. You can't come in here with any uh, any studying. No, you got to you gotta, you gotta yeah. go in. You got to learn. You got to learn, man. And I like that. I like mm -hmm. it when players don't know each other. And they play like, and I know like the locals, like you're going to run into people you play a bunch. And that's just, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Um, but I like, I like it. I consider these kind of things a treat when you don't know the, the opponent. Yeah. And you're seeing Dan trying to pull out all the different movement. Doing those, uh, dat, those double dash canceled, uh, folk stacks or whatever it's called. I don't know what the yeah. freaking acronym is. Uh, F -A -D -C, F -A -D -C, maybe. Folk stack. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And let's talk a little bit about this matchup. I would say... It's similar to, I think, the Marth Mario matchup in the sense, except, you know, Ryu's got bigger hitboxes. Yeah. He's got less, like, jank stuff, but he's got, sure, you can obviously, at like this percent, you'll kill, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then Marth just plays the keep away game. Like, and he can do it. Yeah. And you're seeing uh, Dan play a lot more aggressive through the air than he normally does. Normally, he's really grounded, trying to just uh -huh. on the ground. But now you see him doing those full hop nares, trying to get you. Trying to find ways to break Mark's wall that he's yeah. thrown out with you. He either has to wait on the ground or anticipate in the air. Because you can't just do it at the same time because Mark's sword will win. You know, yeah. it's just so huge. So he has to anticipate that, you know, Nier's going to come in with some fair or some aerial of any kind. And he just meets him with Nier immediately before he has a chance to let it go. Yep. Well, let's talk momentum here for a second. If you're Nier, you've just played two heart-stopping sets versus Poke Pen. And Did Dang. they both go to game five? They or am both I... went to game five. Oh my yeah. gosh. You had two slobber knockers, and you've had damage been sitting for a while. So we'll see if Nier is either running out of gas or has just turned up from... I think, it's, I think it's either or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't think it's going to be an in-between. Like, we will see via the body language that his mark exhibits to us one or the other. I think it's a tale of extremes. And incredible survival skills coming out from both these players, too. But this could be it. Big. And it will. But not thick enough. Not thick enough. But not thick enough. <laughs> that ain't locust. That ain't locust. <laughs> Yo, why y'all gotta do that? <laughs> that ain't locust. Oh, man. And I like that down throw. I don't think... I don't think he thought that would kill. No. I I have not seen... Ryu does not have great throws. So, I was surprised it killed at all. But at 191, anything is possible, right? That's true. Around 200, Fox's F throw kills. Around uh, Samus kills with throws at like 215. Rob kills with forward throw. I've never seen it happen, but it can happen. Like, it's like late 200, maybe? Yeah, like over 200 for sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We have it rough. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tough, man. Y'all got a new gauge meter in the Smash 5. I'm proud of y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> the, the nerf we never needed. Oh, no. <laughs> and right now, right now, okay. Boat stocks, you know, active for these guys, and right now, Nier trying to pull away. The thing that I've noticed about Nier, he does a great job of recognizing his opportunities. Right there, oh, TC was just kind of biding his time and waiting for Nier to throw something out. Nier just went in and grabbed him. Mm, I like that weight on that, that what do you, the, 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 the pointy one. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the shield breaker. The shield breaker, baby. <laughs> that was, oh, oh, man. That hitbox went away at just the right moment. Mm. And I wonder if the up tilt to dare uh, percentages for it being true are minimized because of the Dolphin Slash as an option. Beautiful shield breaker. Oh, you know this what, is scary. You know what I've noticed about Nier 2? He plays some long games. Oh, dude. That is his playstyle, man. He will wait and bait. And he abuses the fact that this game, Smash 4, is a very defensive style game. Yeah. And that's that's just how it is, and he understands that, and he's, you know, crafted his, his, his neutral and his playstyle around it, and it's serving him well. Yeah, and you see, you saw at the beginning of the set too, damn, trying to be aggressive, trying to make, that's it, trying to make Nier play to his, play to his speed, and Nier just like, nah, I'm going to control the pace of this match, you're going to come to me, we're going to play slow, defensive, just how I like it. And I'm going to give you tips of advice, bro. Yeah. After tip.
After tip, after tip, tip after that's that is the Marth meta. Yeah. And right now I feel like uh, Damon's gonna need to spice up his mix-up game. Uh, and is gonna be able is gonna need to confuse near a little bit, which I think personally uh, would involve and require some you know difference is like some changes in how consistent he throws out options, right? So if need be, just wait a little bit, move around more, confuse the opponent a little bit more, get near to come to him without near realizing it, right? Yeah, I feel like he's got to start um, relying on these fireballs more too. I mean, you have, mm -hmm. if you're Ryu, you have a projectile, you don't have to keep jumping in. Yep. Understanding how to utilize your toolkit to the, like, as efficiently as possible. Yeah. Super important in this, especially against the character that keeps you away like Mark. Absolutely. So clip him just with that back here. And I think Nier has seen more, uh, or rather... Oh my I gosh. like it. I like it. That is so risky, but at the same time, like he understands, and uh, Dam is kind of playing. They try to play the keep away game himself. Yeah, he forced Dam away with that. He yeah, he was like, "Hey, if you let it go, I'm gonna shield break you, and you're gonna be dead." Yeah, was like, "All right, all right, I respect it. I'll give you your space." Again, showing how Nier is effectively controlling the pace of this match. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, no, sure you can. Was able yeah. to still get some stage control. Oh, and oh, I the platform might save him. Mm. Oh, yeah. he had his jump. He had his jump. He had his jump. And I think Dan was looking for the uh, the dare. Yeah. I, I think that was a nary throughout. Cause I feel like Dare would have just done it. Dead even here. Oh yeah. Both play. Wow. Taking the basket. What a conversion, with that scoop, bro. Yeah. Like, order him a double fudge like that was gross. Down tilt, chasing down, and up throw. I mean, hey, what gets the job done gets the job done. Are you gonna... oh. That's Ew, what gonna did he... do it. He, I think he tried to throw out an F smash. Did you hear that like little mm -hmm. clink mm -hmm. last second before he got hit with that down smash? And I like how Nier is rolling away, understanding that you know when certain moves land on him, especially against Ryu, you can't do much about it. But Ryu, really beefy moves. Nier's shield getting really low. Yeah. And we're gonna see near throw out some oh, great, oh, now, dude. Great option from TC. I like it. I like it. it. Doesn't kill. It gets the percentage, but it just shows that TC's thinking. Damn's thinking. It breaks you out of there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, kind of, at least the idea is to chip away damage or chip away the confidence that Nier has in his, in his approach options and his decision making. So I like that fireball too a lot from TC. Now he's sort of he's adjusting Nier's play style. He's trying to make him. He was trying to make him come to him a little more. Yeah, yeah, and mixing up his movement in the air too to try to try to figure out how uh, try to mix up near and uh, find an opening. Oh Ooh, my god! Oh my god! Try to end him. And I think near fast fell in order to avoid that dare. Yeah, he's like, oh no, I feel it. You know what I mean? That instinct coming in. You felt it coming. Yeah. Nier's just really consistent with these chippers, bro. Like, even that, what the? Yeah. And Dare? Like, I don't expect Marth to do that, but you know, I'm no Marth, man. Hey, for Marth, we gotta be careful. Yeah. Even at 57, we gotta Rage Ryu. Oh, oh, he got the Ryu. Oh. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, the platform. My booty. With the assist. My booty. With the assist. And that shield break, again, got pulled the trigger that time. Two for two on that. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, he's he's really using that shield breath, that shield pressure to control uh, when Dan is able to come in and what Dan's able to do. And this is a, this is a run back, correct? I think Near lost to Dan. That's what's on. Oh, losers. did he? I think that was the person who sent him the losers. Oh, wait, monthly mashers? Or no, 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 it's here, here. Oh, huh. yeah. Near. Oh, I, I was just inputting the scores as they came to me. Yeah. I don't follow along. Just like all right. You want to? Oh, all right, I got you. Uh, I mean, I think Nier was definitely thinking about this after that set, but like how to adjust and whatnot. Right now, it's it's, it's paying its dividends, man. Um, but Dam is trying to avoid being sent to losers and reset, getting the bracket reset on him. Yeah. And in order for that to happen, he's gonna have to reverse the real. You're seeing a lot of aggressive options come out from Nier. 
between that S match, that mirror coming out, all mm -hmm. in a quick time frame. But that oh my gross. goodness, the string from TC. These combos are gross on uh, on Battlefield. That's bro. Rad. And right now, near with an early deficit, uh, quite a big one at that. Dam's combo game on Battlefield no, is proving to be really good. Did he take his jump? Nope, he did not. Oh, we tried to get him with the dare. Good idea, but just barely misses the... Uh... Oh, we don't, we don't tech those. I mean, we near tech to, takes those, though. All right, and... Just like that, we have ourselves a very even game, and near getting these grabs, evening up the score. Oh no! Oh boy! Let's see what he can do here. I like that dolphin slash. I don't think Dam was ready for it. It's a quick get out of jail free card in order to not get sure you can. Oh my god, the fadeaway back air. You know what that was? Oh, that was zipper, That baby. was damn saying, hey, this might be, I'm not getting time to lose it. I'm going to fight back ferociously with everything that I can. But he got hit though. So this is a bragging reset, my guy. Oh. 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 I didn't oh. even know. Oh no. Oh. Oh, 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 I was going off like damn one of the set because I saw that first. Nah, stock. dude, man. he got he got hit with that. So he got that first stock, but then near immediately answered with a uh, stage spike and then did it again like maybe thirty seconds later off of like two strings. Oh my lord! So he and it was like a fade away uh, back air, so it was like really hard to see coming. Like it was, that was just hard. It was really good stuff from there. Um, and right now we got ourselves a bracket reset. Right now both players only have three games. We got three to win to, to work take. With. The set. Three games at the very least. Um, Anir is playing with a fire. I think when that previous discussion, I think it's kind of aiming toward the ladder. Like, he's playing on point right now. Oh, my goodness. This play playing twice. Now, times. now you're seeing TC find his openings. You're seeing that damage trade now. You're not seeing oh, Anir yeah. just consistently keeping damn out. You're seeing damn break into that zone and able to rack up those... That damage that Ryu is known for. Oh, and I like that sh oh, uh, Shoryuken. The reverse grounded Shoryu? Oh, man. I don't think I've seen anyone back air to Shoryuken more than, uh, than Dam. Yeah. This is a good option, right? Because it auto-cancels and you're able to get that. That takes some hands, too. Bro. It does to get the reverse. Yeah. And now we got ourselves an even game. Both players very evenly matched. Very cautious play on the ledge coming from here. Yeah. Thinking about maybe baiting out the, uh... Oh! Is that death? That's death! Oof. Yeah. I don't think... I was thinking Nier might have been expecting the shorty and was trying yeah. to DI for that. I think you're dead on right out. there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of damage. Wow, the... The F-Tilt planking with, uh, with Ryu's F-Tilt. The sword is not mightier than the fist. Nope. At least not as much more. No. Uh... Don't down. try that at home. Don't try that at home, B. I like that dolphin slash. I think that was a true follow-up with all that hits done. And I don't think it was also it was also pretty safe too. I mean, hey, if you're down, you gotta take what you can get. Yeah. And and I like Oh my goodness. The aggressive call out from near. Oof. He's like, all those hitboxes, man, I'd like you to stop, please. He's like, hey, I'm gonna I know you're being aggressive. I'm gonna start throwing out these counters. Can, can you can you hit pause on that fam? <laughs> Oh man, and right now, even with that though, that's not gonna be it because no, of no rage. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get down there, owner. <laughs> right now, damn, with all the stage control, that's gonna and that's gonna wrap. even up the set. Nope, just kidding. It's going to have one, one or one oh. One oh, might be in favor of damn here. Yep. Damn, two games away from winning a major. A Northwest uh, major. Northwest major. <laughs> and the tenth one at that. Yeah. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Big for treasure. Alright, all the puns aside, moving on to game two of this bracket reset. We're going back to Battlefield. This is something that I think will help near a lot. Because if you notice the last game, Dan was able to break his own by jumping in and mixing up his op his aerial options. Uh -huh. But now these platforms are gonna come into the play. You can't really approach with fast fall and air because that platform's gonna get in the way oh yeah 
Oh no, I thought we were gonna see like a locust combo. Like, oh, three man. up airs and up here or something like that. And you're starting off this game very aggressive. Uh, trying to play a lot. Very anticipated. What the? Oh my, oh my god. I'm loving these tech chases. And downer options. Yeah, that was good though. That was good though from them. Right. I mean, this is very even right both, now. Both players are close, for sure. Oh, yeah, dude. dude. That's it. Oh! No. That's not it. no. Good SDI. SDI. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you right? You owe me a soda, bro. <laughs> oh, try to do, do the aggressive call out. That's some high IQ play right there. I like it. And it's safe, too, because of the fact that there is a platform. I like that usage. I'm sure you can. As a bait on Battlefield specifically, and this is the third time we've seen this. Can we get a an F in the chat, man? man like this is oh, trading right back. Never mind. Put those Fs away. Slap them back in your keyboard, man. We got ourselves an even game. Damn, not allowing that shield break to shake him. Shooting right back with the back air. Oh man. Oh, and you saw that straight up run up. That's, yeah. that's damn saying, hey, I'm no longer afraid of your wall. Yeah. I know I can just force my way in here. I have... Calling out his shield super yeah. hard. Dead even. Oh, oh did you see that phantom? Blow? The you glancing see that? Yeah. blow? Yeah. Sparks, baby. Catching the jump. That was a great way to catch a jump, too. Yeah. And damn, using a projectiles a little bit more in this neutral. Ooh, if he would have connected on that, that would have been perfect. That might be it, dude. No, he got it. He got it. I don't know, dude. Like, no, just recovery-wise. That was a nice... He's... All right. a nice focus, but yeah, he didn't tech. Yeah, If he techs it, he's still living. Yeah, uh, Dan uh, has been trucking a little bit with a teching game. I think this was the third stage spike that has happened that resulted in a uh, mm -hmm. stock loss. But we got ourselves an even set right now. This is a really good set, honestly. That's a good set. I really like I'm really enjoying this. These past four sets have all been They've fantastic. all been great. They've yeah. all been great. Going to Omega Wiley's castle with the the solid walls on the side, which might come a little bit into play. And why does why does uh Damn like the stage? Again, because I know Ryu can't wall jump, right? So no, like I don't no. know like what's what's the uh the logic behind this? You know, I think it might make it harder to shark. Because if you can't hug the ledge, you can't like rise and rise and up air. With this, you just have to go straight up. Interesting. But that may come in a benefit might. for near two, though. You know, like because of the, yeah. the, 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 yeah, the dolphin slash. So I don't know. Or it could be a preference, man. You know. Yeah. He might like the music, the aesthetic. This is pretty bumping, bro. And I like that jump short. You can. He does not fail to do that. Like his tech game is on point. Oh, I like the fact that he fared there too, because if he just ran in and tried to grab him, you can just you can you know you can just do another sure you can. He's not dead yet, but he's off stage as oh man. Near just able to build up so much damage when Ryu is off stage. Oof. All of these games have been very, very yeah, this is a testy, testy set here. Yeah, and this is a very pitiful, pivotal game three. Catching him with the focus. Oof. With that up here saying, hey. You can't come down on me like that. You're gonna let go right I'll now. Call it out. Yeah. Yeah. Up he goes. Near excelling in his bait. Oh, ducking man. over, ducking under that fireball. Like. Okay. Oh, I thought we were gonna see it there, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking he's gonna start frame trapping with these fireballs off stage. Like, hey, air dodge here. I'm gonna down down air you. You could see that coming to play later in the set, too. Oh, yeah. And that back air is not going to do it. Ryu does struggle in terms of killing uh, with just straight up aerials, right? Like, he's got oppressive uh, tilts and whatnot that lead into the Shoryuken that kills super early. Oh, my God. Mm, dude, he's got to stop shielding near the ledge. Oh, man. That could be. It's better to get fared. Yeah. Yeah, because if he lets his shield go any lower and he gets hit by that, that's another stock and another game for Nier. He's got to be careful with that shield. And you saw it again. Yep. Yeah, that's that's scary. And I think Nier's taking that into consideration. Nice mm -hmm. grab. Too high of a percent due to rage to get anything off that down throw. And you're playing very safe. Oh. 
And that's a jail, get out of jail free card right yeah. there with that dolphin slash. He saw that up air coming. Yeah. We're sure you, saw that, you saw that up tilt. I wonder if uh, TC was just a little late on the trigger or if it was because of the high percentage of mirror that made him delay it just a tad. But that tipper forward tilt. I want to say forward smash. That tipper forward tilt. I mean, it's just, it looks a difference at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was an actual difference. And now we are one game away. You're a game away. Game away, man. Here's a game away from taking Northwest Majors 10. And Dam is trying to send this baby to game five. Dam taking his time. And if he's able to do it, about th it, this will be Nier's third game five or fourth. I don't know at this point. I'm trying yeah, to keep oh count, God. dude. If Dam is able to get this. And Battlefield is their favorite cho choice. you know. And I really, actually, out of all the stages in this set so far, I've enjoyed them playing on Battlefield. Because there are a lot of combos that are possible on this stage as opposed to other places. Yeah. Platforms assist a lot. Mm -hmm. But... We've got no damage on near as of right now, and we're still going. Yeah. If we're near, is still going. Oh, okay, there it goes. Breaking the wall, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and oh, a little too close with that nair. Uh, damn, able to punish with the down smash. Wow, and can we talk about how that platform bailed near out from the uh, Shakura too? That's what happens. I mean. When you're on this stage, those platforms provide you a little bit of safety. They do provide you... Oh, man. If Nier was a little later with that with that forager, that would have been a down air from Dam and a dead Marth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bat him away. And he just called him out on that shield drop. And Nier looking very healthy to take this game, this set, and this tournament here at uh, North Coast Major. Town. Damn, down to his tournament stock, and we might see... <coughs> what are we going to see? Are we going to see Dam making a... Dam turning it up, saying, I'm not going to let you finish me off in the last stock? Oh, man. I, he, I, there's a little bit lack of confidence on that follow-up to Dare because it hasn't been working yet. I don't know if he's gotten him. Maybe he got him once. I think he's gotten him once this set uh, with some follow-up to Dare. Yeah. But it's been a struggle uh, other than that. And so he's kind of just kind of biding his time knowing he's got one stock left. Trying to make something true happen. Mm. Dan playing really carefully. He might be a little shook right now. Yeah, he's gonna have to commit with something. I, I mean, at this point, honestly, with a stock lead and a climbing yeah. percentage, like you have to just like go gotta, for a read. Honestly, like, yeah, you gotta pull it out. Just go for something. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna win by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. Especially when the opponent is doing the exact same thing and has every reason to. And that oh my goodness, killed. the DI was. That's it, dog. That's it. That's it, dog. And near takes and near. Northwest Majors. Winning Northwest Majors. Ten. What a performance. Coming from coming from losers, playing Washington's second best player. Playing Washington's sixth best player. Playing Washington's tenth best player. Tenth best player. Playing Snickeldorf, who is ninth Washington's best ninth best player. Just Man. Yeah. Taking making the run. And you know what I was impressed with? I was impressed with Nier's mental fortitude throughout yeah. this entire run. It's like three sets, man. That takes a lot of he because he started. He did not start winners top eight. He started losers side top eight. Yeah, and he ran it all the way through. He beat who was his first win in? Uh, uh, maybe it was like Q Fact. No, a Toshi. A Toshi. A Toshi. Okay. I think. He beat a Toshi. Then he beat Snip. Then he beat Pokemon. Pokemon. Then, he then he beat Dwayne. And, and then he beat Dam. And then he beat Dam again. Yep. I mean, to do all that and to be able to still adapt as he was to every player that he played. It was good, dude. And he was he was in control the entire time. He never oh, looked yeah. flustered. Never looked like he was in trouble. Controlled the pace of the match every time and knew what to do in every situation. Oh yeah. And he is your Northwest Majors 10 champion. Did you, should we do like an interview? Or? Want to do an interview? I can do an interview. Yeah, interview him. Yeah, He's your good. boy. Let's go. Sit down, my guy. Sit down. Hello. What is... 
what is good, my fellow gamer? You did it. Yo, what's good? You did it, my guy. I'm proud of you. Uh, Oregon represent, man. Uh, so, you were able to come back. You were able to enter top eight from loser side and get not one, not two, not three, but I believe four or five set wins in a row, beating four of Washington's PR, man, on the way to get there, man. That's How, how do you feel right now, dude? You must be tired. Uh, it kind of feels like a dream almost. Really? Like, I, I, I didn't expect to do this. <laughs> yeah, you just did it, bro. A little surreal. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's awesome. I didn't think think I was going to beat Snickledore mm -hmm. just because uh, I was feeling sick after game one. Okay. Like, yeah, that's why I needed water was because, okay. like, I was feeling pretty sick. Mm -hmm. But I clutched it out Let's go. against him. I, I Game five, Pokepen was, like, that was, like, so close. Mm -hmm. He's really good. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm proud of you, dude. You're doing really well, and you were able to not just do well throughout the sets. You were able to finish, get the uh, the clean win, man. I'm proud of you, dude. Any uh, last thoughts uh, you want to give to the viewers right now? Uh, let's go CO. Let's go CO. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, back to I you. I can't dab. Huh, you can't. I can't dab you can with the microphone. You can Dude, dude, you can try. You can try. I got you. Oh, my God. You, you did it, bro. All right, guys. Signing off. It's signing off. Good stuff. Tanir representing Oregon in the PNW and able to take Northwest Majors 10.